stressed asset resolution by setting up a new structure. The high level of provisioning by public sector banks of their stressed assets calls for a measure to clean up the bank books. An asset reconstruction company limited an asset management company would be set up to consolidate and take over the existing stressed debt and then manage and dispose of the assets to alternative investment funds and other potential investors for eventual value realization. Recapitalization of PSB. To further consolidate the financial capital capacity of PSBs, further recapitalization of 20,000 crores is proposed in 21-22. Deposit insurance. Last year, government had approved an increase in the deposit insurance cover from 1 lakh rupees to 5 lakhs for bank customers. I shall be moving amendments to DICGC Act 19, 1961 in this session itself to streamline the provision so that if a bank is temporarily unable to fulfill its obligations, the depositors of such bank can get easy and time-bound access to their deposits to the extent of the deposit insurance cover. This would help depositors of banks that are currently under stress. To improve credit discipline, while continuing to protect the interest of small borrowers for NBFCs with minimum asset size of 100 crores, the minimum loan size eligible for debt recovery under the securitization and reconstruction of financial assets and the Enforcement of Security Interest Surfacy Act 2002, it is proposed to be reduced from the existing level of 50 lakhs to 20 lakhs. Company matters. The decriminalization of the procedural and technical compoundable offenses under Companies Act 2013 is now complete. I now propose to take up decriminalization of the Limited Liability Partnerships Act 2008. Honorable Speaker, I propose to revise the definition under, under the Companies Act 2013 for small companies by increasing the threshold for paid up capital from not exceeding 50 lakh to not exceeding 2 crores and turnover from not exceeding 2 crores to not exceeding 20 crores. This will benefit more than 2 lakh companies in easing their compliance requirements. As a further measure which directly benefits startups and innovators, I propose to incentivize the incorporation of one-person companies by allowing one-person companies to grow without any restriction on paid-up capital and turnover, allowing their conversion into any other type of company at any time, reducing the residency limit for an Indian citizen to set up a one-person company from 182 days to 120 days and allow also non-resident Indians to incorporate OPCs